sup cuties how's it going this video today is going to be kind of jam-packed with a few different things this is now get ready okay i'm going to be answering assumptions that you guys have about myself i asked you on instagram a while ago what assumptions you had Half of that was for a BuzzFeed video, and then the other half I'm just gonna answer on my personal channel. So depending on when the BuzzFeed video comes out, this is either gonna be part one or part two. Next, this is gonna be an unboxing video, okay? I usually have a lot of my packages, like PR packages sent to BuzzFeed, and over the pandemic, and I didn't pick up all my packages until, you know, maybe a month or two ago, and I still haven't opened them. Most of them are from ColourPop, so I'm going to be unboxing them. And then the third part of this video is going to be a get ready with me all at the same time because I am going to a little event this afternoon with a friend of mine. So I'm going to be getting ready for that as well. My goal today is using some of these ColourPop products that I unbox and hopefully like. And I will implement them into my look for the event later. So there's a lot happening. Bear with me. I also just like want to make sure that you guys aren't bored during this video. So I feel like I gotta have a lot happening. Lots, lots going on. So let's get started. This is the first box I'm gonna open. Colourpop always has really cute packaging. It says all eyes on you. This is a pressed powder palette. Okay, super cute. I'm assuming that I just use this as like an eyeshadow. These are probably great transition colors for my crease. Oh my God, I haven't done makeup in so long, you guys. Not even makeup in general, but also like eyeshadow. Like in general, before we were on lockdown, I really wore eyeshadow unless it was like a really special event. And now I'm like, do I even remember like any techniques that I used to do? Who knows, we shall see. This is a sparkle powder palette. The first assumption I'm gonna answer is you stick up for yourself when people try to offer less than what you deserve. Hmm. I would say that's absolutely true. I wouldn't say I've always been this way, um, but in general, I've always been pretty outspoken and then especially working in this industry and knowing and understanding the disparities between not only what men and women get paid, but also what white women get paid compared to women of color, Latinx women, and black women at large. So yes, I very much speak up when I know I'm not being paid or offered as much as a counterpart would be. I actually, you know, I take that really seriously. This is another eyeshadow palette. These are cute. Definitely like peachy vibes. Next assumption is <laughs> you got that ill na na. Now, a friend of mine said this. Maya, you're a mess. Um, for those of you who don't know what ill na na means, it's pretty much uh, that bomb pussy. I think it's true. Next box, we have this joint from ColourPop. A really pretty wine color. <laughs> so cute. Wine knot is on the inside of the box. We have some lip liner, kind of like burgundy lip liner. I'm assuming I may have gotten this box like maybe around winter time because it's giving me fall, it's giving me winter. So then we have some blushes. So let me open this up. Oh, this is a nice blush. I'm always looking for darker, more berry tone blushes um, just because I am darker skin and so these are the ones that really pop on me. I don't really like lighter pinks because I think it just looks ashy on my skin tone. Another pressed powder palette. This is probably a sign that maybe tonight I guess I should wear eyeshadow. It's cute, wine only. We've got some sparkle, we've got some matte. Shimmering dry oil. I love a body shimmer situation, I really do. Makes me feel like Rihanna. And I have other versions in other colors and tones of this from Colourpop that I enjoy, but this is this one. It's like a bronzy, more wine tone to kind of go with the theme. And then we have a shadow duo. Okay, and these are more of these sort of wine toned duos. There's a bunch of eyeshadow in this particular box. That one's cute, that one's called Wind Down. Wind Down! Speaking of Wind Down, I'm so ready for the final season of Insecure to premiere. We have a bunch of eyeshadows here. Next assumption is, you seem like a whole vibe. <laughs> That I take that as a compliment. I definitely would consider myself like a vibey chick, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like my favorite thing to do and the fa my favorite vibes to curate would be listening to like an alternative soul R&B playlist on Spotify. <laughs> 
having some type of like really cool craft cocktails or like wine around and smoking some weed. That feels vibey to me. That feels like a fantastic Saturday night. Oh, and also with candles and incense lit. Yep. Yes, I think I'm, I think I'm a whole vibe. More eyeshadow. You now have too many shoes for the trunk. For anyone who followed me on BuzzFeed, I did a what's in my shoe trunk video for Ladylike a couple of years ago. And I went through my entire shoe trunk and showed everyone like all the shoes that I have and how excessive it was. I've definitely gotten a lot more shoes since then, but I've also decluttered a lot since then as well. I actually just decluttered everything three or four weeks ago. And I don't have the shoe trunk anymore, but I think honestly, it would be the same amount of shoes in the trunk. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if it should have gotten less over time, but at least it's not more. Next box, wow, ColourPop, you spoil me. So this is looking more like a spring box. Flower power. Okay, okay, so similar vibe right in terms of types of products like I got another body shimmer oh this one's like lighter curious to see how this would look on my skin tone I'm kind of like mm, we'll see so many blushes oh such cute packaging this is a pressed powder blush called foxy this is actually exactly what I told you guys that I don't like in a blush but let me just see how it looks on my skin it's giving ash, it's giving the dead of winter, it's giving, girl, where is your eczema medication? And yes, I do have eczema, for those of you wondering. Yep, that's exactly what I mean. I don't like blushes that are that color, but gorgeous packaging nonetheless. This one may be a little bit of a darker blush. Yes, it is, but I still don't know if it's dark enough for me. No, it's just like, that's it right here. Mm, it's a no. Dang, this box is not giving me what I need. Next assumption, you're that thoughtful friend who remembers little details about people. Yeah, I think so. I think I remember details pretty well. If someone mentioned something in passing that they, you know, have had, had their eye on, like, you know, a weighted blanket, the new Fenty lip gloss or something like that. I kind of keep those little things in the back of my mind for, you know, maybe just like a little surprise. I also just love surprising people with gifts. That's something that I love to do. It just makes me feel good. It's like one of the ways that I like to show love, it's all based on how whoever I'm interacting with receives love the best. So I always listen to that first, but I love giving a good gift, especially if it's a surprise. Oh, I love these little things. I love these little ColourPop lippy sticks. I love them. I used them so much when ColourPop first came out. This little brown, ooh, it's so smooth. Oh yeah, ooh, so nice, love that. A plus already. I haven't even tried on my lips. So this box has a bunch of lippy sticks, which I think is gonna make up for the bad blush colors. So it's fine. Yeah, so then we have Unreal, the lighter one. And they're so pigmented and soft, I love it. Okay, this one's like a little bit more taupe. So I think it's gonna be more like, kind of like an ashy nude on my lips, which I'm actually not opposed to. I like an ashy nude on my lips with like a gloss or something. Um, I really love Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy and Taupe by MAC are some of my favorite uh, natural nudes to wear on my lips. The next assumption just says only child. That is so funny. Oh, these aren't lippy sticks. These are lippy pencils. Okay, to go with the lippy sticks, I think. Oh, perfect. So then we just have three of these to go with the three lippy stick colors that I just got. Love that. Only child. So no, I'm not an only child. I have an older brother, but he is 17 years older than me. And so I pretty much grew up as an only child, if that makes sense. So if I give only child energy, that checks out. Face milk. This is fun and new. Now, I don't even, this is super interesting. I've never seen this type of um, packaging for like a face moisturizer, but I guess this is more of a milk. We'll see about that. Okay, and then this is a pressed powder palette. Based on what I'm seeing on the back, I don't think any of these colors are for me. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this is actually what the colors are, but this is what the back shows. You can see why I said that. Also really great natural crease colors for me. I'm always down for a new crease color because I have pretty much used up all of mine that I've typically gone to when I'm doing eyeshadow. So this is great. All right, next assumption is you don't like to gossip. I don't think that I start gossip, but if someone comes to me with some cheese may or any kind of like tea, I mean, I'm all ears. I'm nosy. That's fine. <laughs> this is the final box. 
It's a cute little lavender color. It literally says keeping it cool. Oh, yes. Okay, so this, I mean, already I'm sensing that this is some makeup tools, which I could always use more of them. Yes! I can get down with this for sure. Look at all these eyeshadow brushes and blush brushes and really any and all the brushes that I would ever need. So, with that said, that is some sh I think is probably false. Tell me the tea, sorry. Okay, and then there's only one other thing in this box and it is, ooh, the texture of this is so nice. Stone Cold Fox. Yeah, these are icy. These are giving icy girls. Charging by the minute cause my time is very pricey. Yeah, I like these a lot actually. Dang, I'm like, what kind of look am I gonna go for tonight? There's so many options now. Ugh. Well, thank you, ColourPop. Now, to actually start getting ready. Okay, so I actually had to go figure out what I'm wearing tonight because that's kind of what would determine what type of look to go with. We have so many different options. We have like very cool options and then very warm options. I ended up choosing like a white fitted kind of off the shoulder shirt from American Apparel, a gray skirt, and my silver and gray Jordan 1. I'm gonna lean more towards cool with this palette that I just opened up. I, I'm gonna use the new brushes. Also, you guys, I cannot find my eyeshadow primer. I think I probably just have to get new primer at this point, so I don't have that. Um, I'm gonna work on my eyes first, which is what I generally do. Um, this is my the Hourglass primer that I use. I'm just gonna be, I mean, this is my all over the face primer. It has moisture in it because I have dry skin. Um, but I'm gonna, I guess, just use this as, you know, a little extra as my eyeshadow primer since I don't have the primer that usually makes the colors pop. Also you guys, y'all know I'm not a makeup artist. So don't come for my techniques because they're not really techniques. They're just whatever gets me by. Okay, so first I'm gonna put the concealer on my eyelids and I'm using my Naked Skin Urban Decay concealer in the color Dark Golden. I put a little on my hand and the next assumption is you left BuzzFeed and you can't talk about it yet. So I did leave BuzzFeed full time. I just haven't talked about it because I don't know. It's not really like a dramatic reason or anything. It was just time, you know what I mean? It's just time to go. Now I'm still working with BuzzFeed pretty frequently as a freelancer, doing video appearances and things like that and also working with the sales team and doing branded campaigns. I am kind of still working at BuzzFeed. The rest of Lady Like has completely cut ties with BuzzFeed. They're not on any type of talent contract, but I am, I'm the only person. God, I hope this works. I'm like pretty nervous about doing eyeshadow without primer. And I should have realized I didn't have any, but of course you guys, I haven't done eyeshadow in over a year. So why would I think about it <laughs> until now? So that assumption is false. Well, it's true that I left Buzzfeed false that I can't talk about it. You're open to other cultures. Yes, I am. That is true. I love to travel. I love learning about different cultures. I love meeting people from all over the world, from different countries, with different ethnic backgrounds, different religions. I love to learn. Give me the tea, put me on, teach me, because that's what I wanna know. I wanna make sure that I don't have like a super narrow view of the world and the people around me. So yes, I am super open to other cultures. I'm like really trying to pack on this concealer to make sure it actually can make the eyeshadow pop. Okay, now I'm jumping into, I guess my crease color, right? So I'm gonna use this brush from the new little kit I got from ColourPop, thank you again, um, for my crease. Now this may not be the right brush, but you guys, don't come for me. So I'm assuming that like the browns in this palette would probably go best with the cool look. Like these are cooler browns, you know what I mean? Versus jumping to another palette that has like a brown that's more golden. Fickle fade. So I'm gonna use this as my crease color. The next assumption is you're down with booty eating. <laughs> True. I'm like, I may have gone a little too dark, so I'm kind of mixing now at this point. I'm mixing Fickle Fate with Ghost Town. Next assumption is, you are the most fun in any group. I don't know. 
Oh, I don't know if that's true. I think it depends on what group I'm in, right? Like, there's some friend groups where everyone in the group is pretty mild-mannered, a little bit more conservative, and I'm the crazy one. Yes, I have a group where I am like the most fun, I guess you could say. Uh, but then there are other groups where I'm actually more of the tame one, and everyone else is kind of like, woo, girls go wild. Psh. Those are fun groups as well, because then I could just like chill in the background. They're both fun. So usually when I do eyeshadow, I go dark to light. I don't want to be too smoky eyed, you know what I mean? But I do like this Rumor Mill gray color. Kind of a dark, stormy gray. Let me just dab a little of the... Okay. So we have a little bit of dark gray on the edges. Okay, so then I need to come with something lighter. So I think I'm gonna do like this taupey you rock in the middle. You're super cool and a low key person. I do feel like I'm relatively low key. Like in the grand scheme of things, I could see why one would think that I'm not low key, but I think I am. I really kind of just like to lay low. Like laying low is my favorite thing to do. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh yeah, this is good. This is what I need. And then on the inner corners, I usually like to go shimmery in the corners. So I'm gonna do this magic moon color. Hmm. I look crazy right now, I have not blended yet. This kid has everything, I love it. Now, I'm just gonna blend so that there's no hard lines in between each new color that I picked. For some reason, the left side is blending way better than the right side. Does that ever happen to you guys? I'm pretty silvery, I'm pretty gray. I'm gonna throw on some blue eyeliner because that's the pop that I want today. Um, this is just an Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil. I'm just gonna throw it on the bottom. Next assumption is, you can't handle stress, but still keep a cool head. Um, the first part of that is true, the second part is false. I cannot handle stress, and I also cannot keep a cool head. I'm glad it may appear that way though. This is kind of what it's looking like. I'm gonna clean all this up, you guys. Next assumption is you spend a lot on clothes. Yes, I do. And you wanna know what the culprit is? Instagram targeted ads. They always get me every time. They know my style, they know my vibe. The targeted ad game, you guys are effective. Effective as hell. I actually was gonna do a video um, about all the items that I bought from Instagram targeted ads and kind of do like a, a shopping haul and show you guys, you know, each thing that I got, where they're from, and like a review. Would you be interested in that? Now I think I'm going to take a break from my eyes and jump into my face. You guys know I love Hourglass, so I'm using the Hourglass foundation stick in the color Almond. You have always been interested in style and fashion. That's true, I think that's true. I've always been interested in it, but I don't think it was until my you know, mid to late 20s when I really figured out my aesthetic. I don't know if I really think that I have like one particular aesthetic. I kind of like to be versatile because it gives you so many more options. You don't feel tied down to one particular look or vibe. That's what I like, but yes, I think I've always been interested in style and fashion. Yeah, I just love this foundation because it's not super heavy and it just looks really natural and evens out my skin and it really is like the perfect match to my skin tone and complexion. The worst part about foundation is getting into the baby hairs. You guys have such intense baby hairs. Always have had them. And then of course, you know, you gotta get the neck area. Do I wanna do concealer under the eyes? This is when I start getting lazy. <laughs> Next assumption, your favorite color is yellow. False. That's so interesting. Do a lot of you guys think that that would be my favorite color? Like, do I exude yellow? If that's the case, I love that because yellow is a bomb color. Uh, my favorite color is actually green. I love green so much. Neon green, forest green, army green, olive green. Y'all should see, I have so many pairs of pants that are like the same exact color green because I love green so much. I love wearing green. I love the way green looks. I love green home decor, all of it, all of that. Now I'm going to jump into my minted bronzer and highlighter. Minted is black owned. This is what I use to contour, this is what I use to highlight. Um, and this is Ashley Blaine Featherson's collection and it's called Season Two, this particular duo. Next assumption, you make more money as an influencer than you did at BuzzFeed. Ooh, you guys are getting spicy. 
spicy. Spicy, okay. Okay, I'm actually going to jump into just doing uh, my normal powder. This is Ben Nye powder and the color chestnut. I would say that's a true statement. It's true. The influencer game, I will say I'm blessed. For sure. It's the reason I'm able to buy a house or actually be on a hunt to buy a house. I do get paid more than I did when I was at BuzzFeed, but also I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for BuzzFeed. So I really feel like the two go hand in hand. You can't really have one without the other. Next assumption is you're really quirky and silly. I'm doing highlighter now. And I just do that right here. That's so funny. People have described me as quirky before and I'm like, do I? Am I quirky? Like, would you consider me quirky? Like, when I think of quirky, I think of like, Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus or like Tracy Ellis Ross, which is, it makes sense. There was like a whole thing on Twitter a couple years ago about casting Tracy to be Miss Frizzle in like a live action Magic School Bus and I think that'd be perfect. I think I have a little bit of quirk for sure and I absolutely am a clown. I think I'm pretty silly for sure. One thing about me, I'm a laugh. I guess now I'll jump into eyebrows. So for brows, I don't do much. If you are a new follower, I got my eyebrows microbladed for a BuzzFeed video like four years ago, and I've been keeping up with it, so I don't really do a ton to my brows. I'm so grateful <laughs> for microblading because my brows were jacked before. And so I'm just using this Benefit brow pencil, the Goof Proof brow pencil in the color. There's a, it's a number six. I think the number probably correlates to a color. Cool, so these are my brows. I think they look more intense in, on camera than they do in real life. They read darker, but they're chill, promise. All right, and then I like to go under. Also, you guys, when I haven't had my eyebrows done in a while, I definitely always feel like I need to go under them with some concealer to hide some of these stray hairs. Next assumption, you won't go out without hair, nails, and makeup done. That's false. Like I would say I get most of my confidence from my hair over my makeup or nails. Anyone else feel confident with hair over nails or makeup? Comment below. Is that weird? I just realized that. I've never really said that out loud or thought about it. That assumption is false. Now I'm gonna jump into mascara. Next assumption is, you feel societal pressures to get married. Good one. I don't think so, I don't think that's true. I do wanna get married, but not because of societal pressures. I think I just want to. Oh, also, this mascara is Lash Freak by Urban Decay. I just wanna get married. I'd like to have a husband. I think it'd be cool. Marriage is scary though, I will say that. It's a risk, but everything in life's a risk. You just gotta decide if it's worth the risk or not. I have one rogue lash extension left. That's the thing about lash extensions. It's like they look great when they're full, but you kind of have to like wait for them to all slowly fall out on their own and they do it at different times. And it's like, then you just start looking crazy. Now I need to like blend out my corner a little bit. But once I do that and then a lip, I think I'm done with my face and then I have to do my hair. I'll put my lip on last after I do my hair and put on my clothes. Also you guys, this is not my hair. I appreciate you guys so much on Instagram who've commented like, oh, your hair is flourishing, it looks so healthy. Please, if you haven't watched the blonde video that I posted on my channel, <laughs> my hair is like gone kind of. You know, a lot of it broke off. So I had braids for a minute and now I have this kinky curly weave that like matches my, like my natural curl pattern. So people are like, oh my gosh, your hair grew so much with braids. No. Wow, I thought I was gonna have to do way more with this hair, but it actually looks pretty good. So Kamara, who did my U Part wig that's also on my channel, she installed and sourced this hair herself. She's such a great stylist, focuses on natural protective styles, and this is a protective style because underneath my hair is cornrowed so that it can hopefully grow back from the breakage from the blonde. Oh, also, pattern beauty, edge control, I don't really need it because I think I'm gonna wear my hair just like with that bang. Also Pattern Beauty, I love this baby hair brush. It's so good. I love the ones with the comb on the back so that you can kind of define sort of where the baby hairs go. All right, you guys, now I am going to get dressed. Should I do like a little TikTok transition? 
Okay, so last assumption question I'm going to answer before I head out. You're currently beautifully in love. I feel like that's a good one to end on. The answer is yes. I'm super in love. I'm super happy. I love my boyfriend very much. I've been single and looking for a really long time. So now that I finally found my match, my soulmate, I feel really good. I feel like it's only up from here. You know, my makeup look from the ColourPop packages I think came out really cute. I do still have to do my lip. This is like a one of the lippy sticks. I'm probably gonna do a gloss over it actually. I'm gonna do the Fenty Hot Chocolate Bomb over it to give it a little bit of dimension. Cause I have like blue and stuff and, and lots of gray. So I wanna be chill down here. My look is complete. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We did so much today. We unboxed some ColourPop boxes. We answered some questions and assumptions. Did a get ready with me, got dressed, did all these things. I am running late for my event now, but thank you so much for hanging out. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. Also, just so you know, I got this look and like the way this hair is styled. I just did some bantu knots overnight. If you wanna see me do that, let me know as well. Comment below, subscribe, keep up with my videos. You guys, I am gonna be posting regularly now, so please subscribe, share, do all the things. Love you so much. Yeah.